what's going on y'all it's not gonna be this long but this is pamela i just got finished watching the verses dj nelson versus looney tunes uh they are two reggaeton djs um this versus was a lot lackluster um i think simply because uh it was lackluster uh simply because i didn't know and wasn't familiar with them um, it was lackluster. Uh, there was not that many people in the live via Instagram or YouTube. I think on YouTube, there was like 62,000, 62,000, 6,200 people in the, um, in the live. And then on Instagram, there were probably about 13 to 14 K. Uh, I don't know about the other apps that it played on. There may have been more people on the app. Um, it's listen, the one thing that I appreciated is that it started on time. There were no, uh, warm up acts or anything like that. <laughs> it started on time. The one thing I did notice is that it was in a beautiful location. It looked like a, a house, you know, like somebody rented out a, a very luxurious house and they had it set up in the backyard. So it gave a backyard feel. <clears throat> Uh, they had, uh, I think it was in Los Angeles. Um, again, they started on time. There was a host. I was not familiar with her. Uh, she said what she said and she got off stage and allowed for the artist to, uh, perform. Uh, they performed, they performed their hits back and forth, back and forth. Uh, they finished in would look like right at an hour maybe a little bit under an hour because it's like nine maybe nine thirty, and i've gone in and done a little stuff to come and then came back and sat down so uh it uh, like i said it was lackluster uh, the people who were there in the audience um probably the first 10 or 15 minutes they were really really lackluster then you Somebody must have said something because you saw a lot of the guys move to the front. Um, there was an instant, <laughs> you could kind of tell that there was like a shift because uh, they had, and I'm just going to say it like I saw it, there were the white passing Latinas that were on stage and they were dancing kind of very lackluster. Um, then they got off the stage and then there was an Afro Latina that got up there and she was dancing. She, she held the crowd. She looked beautiful. She was dancing. Um, but she was basically looked like the only person that was really enjoying it. Everybody else was just like sitting and almost kind of snobby. Like, like I said, the men got up and they were up toward the stage, but they didn't appear to be really enjoying the set, which, um, I don't know that, um, and that's been, you know, and I'm not going to blame it on that, but that has been pretty much the crowd at, um, a lot of these live shows. I think, um, uh, even at the last one with Mario and Omarion, the crowd seemed dead. Uh, even, <laughs> even at my, <laughs> even at my one that has the biggest hilarity, which was the Bone Thugs and Harmony, the crowd didn't get hyped till after, uh, uh, what's his name started that fight. That was the only time the crowd got hot. Every everything else, they were just kind of standing there just with their phones. And so maybe that should be something that you should become to, to ready to party and not really bring your phone. Or maybe they put them in one of those little bags or whatever and they have to enjoy the show. Uh, be more attentive to the show. So, um, and plus I know it was probably hot because it, it looked like it was the middle, you know, even though <clears throat> it was at night, it was still light outside and it's probably a little warm. So I could understand that. Um, one of the things that was different for this this verses again, there was no we didn't get a, a a listing of what the names of the songs, so I was clueless. Um, most of the songs was in Spanish, so I was a uh, uh, clueless. Um, you know, I heard the you know somebody was saying something about gasolina, and I think I remembered that song, but I don't quote me because i've heard the name but i may not have actually heard the song um one of the things i can tell you that made this versus not enjoyable um and i did tweet swiss and timberland was the fact that in instagram you know the the lat the the latin community was very vulgar 
they were like, you know, when honest questions were being asked, like, who are these artists? Uh, uh, what do they what do they sing? What do they do? Because there's a lot of people that were unfamiliar with them. Oh, they got really downright nasty. And, and to the point, uh, there was a lot of uh, uh, comments about, well, the blacks just get out. This is our verses. You need to get out. Uh, you know, and it's like, wait a minute. I've seen all these verses where people will ask questions like, I'm not familiar with this artist. What do they sing? And then you'll see people just list some of their songs and things like that. But, uh, and, and I'm speaking on Instagram, uh, uh, on Instagram in particular. I, like I said, I watched it on YouTube on my television as simultaneously and the comments on there were pretty tame everybody was happy the only thing i saw mostly they were complaining about was the venue that they should have had it in um someone said it should have been in central park in port in um new york that it would have been better or some block party in new york or something like that that was those were the comments that i was seeing but on instagram i saw a lot of very uh nasty comments toward uh black folk about you know if you don't understand it this is our culture and you just need to just be quiet and don't ask questions and get out so i you know i text uh switch them i said well they kicking the blacks out and since this is what you all decided that y'all were gonna do all right then um again this is all i got on there it was very lackluster to me it uh it was it just served as background noise uh for me after a while because you know you didn't get the camaraderie or the information from the community so it was like well all right but that's it tell me what did you all watch watch the verses did you not watch the verses uh if you did watch the verses what was your feeling about watching the verses uh particularly on instagram or on youtube or wherever you watched it from Whew. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you are not already subscribed to my channel. And as always, people, bye-bye.